Hello everybody and welcome to the Quilter's Apothecary. Today we are doing a tutorial on one of my favorite fillers that I've been doing for years, which is the Spiral Hook Feather Filler. And we're going to combine that with the basic swirl to give it some wonderful echoing so that those feathers just pop right out. This has been one of my more popular edge-to-edge -edge freehand fillers for clients. So let's head over to the paper. I'm going to show you on paper first and then we'll head over to the machine and we'll do some of it on the machine. Now when we start this, number one, if you're new to feathers you'll want to go and check out the tutorial, the live video on drawing that we did for an hour because I have some wonderful feather fronds in there because you'll want to at least have some basic feather fronds before you actually start this one. So we're going to start simply with the hook shape first and we're going to do a single feather and then we'll take that into the filler. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm doing mine upside down so it's right side up for you and I'm going to come up into a question mark shape. I'm going to spiral around and you want to make sure to keep that spiral nice and even. You want to make sure to leave some room here to put feather fronds in. I'm going to spiral in a few times and then I'm going to backtrack or echo whichever you prefer all the way out and back down to the bottom. Once I get down to the bottom I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feather the outside of the hook into the mouth or the spiral. I don't want to come up into the mouth. I want to come around the back of the head of the hook. This is always going to signify for me when I'm talking to you about the hooks. The back of the head, this is the eye. So I come around the back of the head and I work my way into the eye of the hook. So I'm back down here at the bottom. I go ahead and I start to feather. I'm going to use my basic swirl back, bump, new frond, swing away and back, bump the top, new frond. You could use whatever feathers you want. You could use the boomerang feather, throw it, it comes back to you. You could do those wonderful ribbon feathers, throw it away, divot in, cross over. You could do a double bump, backtrack out, double bump, curve back. You could do any type of feathers that you want to do. I'm going to revert back to my swirl back, bump the top, new frond, away and back, bump the top, scoop under, swing away and back, bump the top, new frond, swing away and back, bump the top, new frond, back, bump, frond. This particular feather is based on my flurry feather that I did years ago and I love that feather but this makes it look so wonderful and gives incredible movement. Swirl back, bump the top, new frond, swing back, bump the top, new frond, swing back, bump the top, new frond, back, bump, 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 frond. Now I'm coming into the inside, back, bump, frond. When I get into the tip, back, bump, frond, I come right out of the tip, bump the top, new frond. Now I'm either going to backtrack or I could pebble my way out all the way back down to the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those few filler feathers on the inside of that hook. Swing back, bump the top, new frond. Swing back, bump the top, new frond. Squeeze in that last guy, come down. So that is going to be your first hook feather. Now, this feather, you're going to go ahead and you're going to practice uh, multiple pages in this direction. Then you're going to practice it with the hook coming the opposite direction. And then you're going to practice it laying on its back facing up. And then you're going to practice it laying on its face with the forehead down so that that way you'll be able to do this particular feather in absolutely any direction you want to go. So now let's take this feather into a wonderful flurry filler. 
Okay, so now this paper is going to signify our quilt top. This part right here, just like that. And so I'm going to go upside down so it'll be just like you are right side up. And I always start in my upper left hand corner. I'm going to come in. I'm going to start here, start with my first hook, spiral around, echo or backtrack out. I'm going to come around the back of the head of that hook. Stretch those feathers out. Stretch. Stretch, swirl back, bump the top, new front, swing back, bump the top, new front, swing back, bump the top, new front, back, bump, front, back, bump, front, back. Now, as I come around the mouth, I'm going to start shrinking my feather fronds to fit right in there because now I want to stretch those out to fill. Bump, frond, back, 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 bump, frond, all the way in, backtrack all the way out, bring up a few feather fronds to close that mouth, backtrack down. Now I'm going to come out of there and I'm going to echo the heck out of this feather. And when I say echo the heck out of it, I mean echo the heck out of it. Not just one or two, but you're actually going to really put a lot of echoes. What that's going to do is faux trapunto those beautiful feather fronds so that they pop. Because that's the whole goal of this design. Just like with that hearts take flight design. Back, bump come around, filler. If I want to fill a little quicker, I'll add a swirl. That's going to make that fill up a little bit quicker, make it a little more dense, give it a little more movement. Come up the side. I'm going to make sure to echo the heck out of this. Come up. And now, when I come out, I'm going to go ahead, fill that, and then I'm going to come away with another hook. I'm going to go into a spiral. Now I'm going to backtrack or echo my way out. I'm going to come all the way down, and now I'm going to go ahead and feather the outside. Remember, we go around the back of the head and around into the spiral. Swing back, bump the top, new frond, back, bump. I'm going to do a double bump feather in there to kind of fill in that awkward space. Bump, new frond, back, bump, new frond, back, bump, new frond, back, bump, new frond. You can combine, swirl back, bump double bump if you want to flatten a little bit more, make it more leafy or a little more masculine, double bump, back, bump, or keep it rounded, whichever you prefer. As I come around into this mouth, I'm going to again start to shrink those down. I'm going to fill in that space with fronds. Now inside this hook shape is where people will start to struggle. So as I'm coming around here, again, once I hit the tip, I'm going to hit the tip every time. Bump, frond, back, bump, frond. I hit the tip, swing back, hit the tip. Now I come out, backtrack all the way out and down, come up the top. Backtrack down. Now I'm going to echo into what I already have. And now I'm going to continue all the way over. And every time I do another feather frond, I'm going to flip it the opposite way and continue all the way over. Now let's say I finished this row. Then I would go down to my next row after I've rolled my quilt. And then very simply I'd lock in 
and then I would come and I would flip a hook the opposite way so that that way then I would go ahead and continue that second row all the way over. And that is how we would move with this. So we work across our quilt. I don't like to fill in my whole throat space. I actually, this would be about the size that I would work. And as you see what I'm doing when we do the quilt work, you're going to see that I tend to like these nice and tight with some big full feather fronts. So let's head over to the machine and let's give this a go. And you can see how it moves and how wonderful it is to work with. So now I've got our stitches locked and we're going to start our swirled flurry feather design. And I'm going to come up with my hook. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my machine on cruise mode. Come up. Now we're going to hit start. Spiral around. Echo or backtrack back and down to the bottom and I'm going to start it down there and we're going to come back. We're going to start our feather work. Swing back and really stretch those feather fronds out. And coming around the back of the hook. Giving some nice movement to those feathers. Leave a little room for my binding space. Now you could go ahead and use the traditional long arm feathers if you want. Or you could use any feather you want to use. You could do the boomerang. I'm going to sneak in there, add a spike just to fill in that area. You could do the ribbon feather, whatever feathers you like to do. As I come around towards the mouth of that hook, I'm going to fill those, that whole space with the feather fronts. All the way up and in. Come around, up, in, around, around, up, in, around, up, in. I'm going to backtrack out of there, down to the bottom, throw in a few feathers heading up to close that space. And now I'm going to echo that out. And again, I'm going to make a nice amount of echoes. The more echoing, the better. Throw in a few swirls to fill the space. Get my tail. Head up. Come down. Now I'm going to head all the way over. <coughs> Fill that space up with echoes. Swirls for fill. When you think you have enough echoes, keep echoing. You want a lot of echoes in there, which is really going to pop those feathers. Now I'm going to come out and I'm going to go ahead and give myself another hook shape. Echo or backtrack all the way back. And I come around the back of the head of that hook and into the mouth to get that spiral feather going. And then I'm going to continue on filling up with all of my echoing all the way across the quilt. And I'm going to be flipping my feather hook opposite each time. So this one swirled clockwise, the next one will swirl counterclockwise, 
and all the way over to the edge of the quilt. And then when I come back, I will lock my stitches here somewhere, come down, flip my hook the opposite way, and then continue underneath, filling that space all the way across. So now, hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, and it gives a beautiful design. And I use this a lot in micro work. It's a wonderful micro work design, as well as just a regular filler or an edge to edge or a filler around applique, however you want to use it. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and take this hook and I'm going to show you one of my four way flurry block designs as a little bonus. So now for this block design, you can see that I have this drawn out. And just so you know where we're heading, here is the block that we're actually going to be recreating. So now, to get that block, what we're going to do is, and this could be in any shape, uh, I have it in a square right now, just like we have on the drawing that you were just looking at. And in a square shape, you would simply chalk a four patch, and then it, you don't have to be a perfectionist, but I went ahead and just chalked a little bit of the perfectionist part out. What I did was in all four quadrants of this, I located the center by using a, a little straight ruler. And then I knew that's the center, that's the center, that's the center, that's the center. I figured out what size circle I wanted, which would be the inside of this circle. I want to make sure with this circle that I leave enough room to have feathers on the outside of it. Leave enough room and I centered that right on there and I chalked all four of those circles right in the center of that square. And then I just simply freehanded with chalk um, my uh, spines coming up from the middle because the spine will come up from the middle. We will spiral in with our spiral feather, backtrack all the way back down, and then we will feather the outside around the, the mouth of the hook. Now when we do that, the one thing that I like to do is about a third of the way up, about to the bottom of where this circle is, I just put a little registration line on the vertical line up, and then come down, line that up there, put a little one there. And you'll see why when we quilt that first feather. Because when we come around the mouth, I don't want to stretch those feathers all the way out to here. I only want to go to about here and into the mouth so that that way when I backtrack back down I would plant a few feathers coming up the opposite way so that it doesn't look funny so you don't have odd feathers shaped right here. Okay so let's go ahead let's start quilting that. Okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my vertical figure eight horizontal figure eight Come out between, go up into my hook, spiral in, echo or backtrack all the way back down to the bottom. And now remember, I'm going to feather the outside of that hook first. stuff out of the way there. I'm going to come all the way around the top of that head. Now excuse my bad backtracking. I'm leaning back so that we don't lose our focus. Come around, feather, fill up that space, come around in, and up. And now, that was that spot where I said, we're not going to stretch those feathers all the way down. We're actually going to follow this and shrink right into the mouth of that hook. Let me 
pull out my little guy there. My little stand gives it a bounce when I get close to the edge. Sorry about that. Come around. Bump. Come around. Fill in. I'll do a little spiral. Work my way out and down to the bottom. Then I'm going to put a few feathers coming up this way. And then my next part would be I would backtrack down here. I would come up, repeat that process there. And then I would come down and I would do that on the two bottom quadrants, making sure that they all swirl in towards the middle. So that that way what we get is this wonderful design that we have drawn out right here. All right, everybody, so there you have uh, my swirled flurry feather design as a filler as well as a block design. As usual, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to hit the subscribe button down on the YouTube page here. And also click the bell so that that way when we put out new videos, you will get a notice. Have a wonderful day wherever you are at. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. We'll see you down the road. This is my stage. Not your stages. You go get your own show. Mm -hmm. You go get your own show, Missy. This is just like that movie all about Eve. Get out. Shoo. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Gonna give you a kissy. Mwah.